Hey everyone, Cody here, and I just wanted to address a, a question that I've been seeing, and it's how do I develop my painting style? Essentially, to develop your own style, it's, it's no different than any other medium out there, drawing or doing music or, or videography. Really, it comes down to two things, just studying other people's work to kind of absorb that information and to see those examples and to kind of think on them, but also just practice. I mean, it. What I would suggest is just kind of picking up somebody else's uh, style and then trying that a bunch of times to see if, you know, if over time you can kind of add your own thing to it or if you even like the style. Because uh, there's a lot of styles that I've seen other people do that I thought was very cool. And then once I did it, I wasn't really happy with the results, either the way that I produced them or I just after going through it, I just didn't like the process. So essentially, it kind of comes down to picking a couple of styles that you're really interested in of other people and then emulating those styles multiple times over and over and over again to try to copy or replicate what they're doing. Now, it's not to so that you can be a copy of their style. It's just so that you can kind of learn the mechanics behind it. And then once you've done it a bunch of times, then you can kind of uh, evaluate that and say, okay, do I like this process? Do I like the results I'm getting? And am I progressing towards something that is going to get me closer to where I want to be? And if you're not, if, if it's not you know, getting you to that point and it's not uh, helping you to be able to achieve that, then uh, ultimately then take a step back and kind of go in a different direction. I would say you probably have to give it a few months, you, um, you know, dozens and dozens of attempts before you can finally say, yes, this is working or no, it's not working. And then once you have kind of that, um, the answer to those questions, then you can kind of move in that direction. So that is how you can kind of find your painting style. Uh, same with, you know, here on YouTube, if you just go and look at a bunch of different YouTube artists, if you find one that you really like and they produce the type of work that you're interested in trying to emulate, um, then, you know, just go ahead, just go out there and start trying it and, and trying to emulate what they're doing. Again, not to copy them per se, but to learn the method behind it and to see if you like the results and the method behind it. Because you may think it's cool, but then when you go and try to do it yourself, you may find that you don't like it as much as you thought you were going to. Um, and essentially, I would say, you know, if there's a lot of different things that you're interested in, um, just find like three or less. And it's usually the ones that you kind of keep gravitating towards. So like these scrape paintings, when I first started painting, I really had no idea about them. But when I learned about scrape paintings and Gerard Richter, that really appealed to me. So I started doing more of those. And so now my main three styles are kind of like the Pollock style painting for my subscribers, the scrape paintings because I enjoy those, and then the dabbed paintings, which is kind of something I develop myself. So it's like those three things that kind of uh, gravitate between because those are the ones that I find myself kind of coming back to over and over again. So that's my suggestion. That's my advice if you're kind of trying to find that out. Um, that's it. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, let me know. And uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, please do so. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.